So do you want to go back to that first location and see, like, I wonder if maybe you get more stars, you can unlock that third one, and we can't pick the other things. Or did you want to try and pick blind with that second one, maybe? Oh, wait. Yeah, now it works. Okay, well, yeah, welcome back to Bud Saws and Duds. And, Weird. Uh, we've got a good game, but it does have some little issues. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, this is definitely a different one. Yeah, the other one they showed me that blank screen and didn't didn't do anything else. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's see here. I didn't see what this one was called. Wood chopper. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's gonna be all trees falling, probably. That's the only extreme sport in real life that I would love to try, even though I'm sure I would die. I may have mentioned this before, uh, but that's uh, downhill biking. Oh, I thought you said tree trees falling. So I honestly thought you were talking about the like the lumberjacking. Oh, games. the lumberjack stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that stuff's cool, but uh, no, I've always wanted to do like the downhill bike thing. I just. Just kind of like I always wanted to learn how to ski, but I just want to make sure I don't die. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> you know? I think our momentum would carry us way further than we need to go. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Uh, so I, I've got a serious discussion we have to have, Rob. Uh, okay. I had a frightening issue yesterday, and I think it's important we make we make people aware that this stuff happens and it's out there. And, and it's uh, natural. It, it really is natural. Uh, you know... Everybody thinks it's easy being a guy, uh, you know, we don't have to give birth and, and things like that. But uh, there are dangers being a, being a male that are, are somewhat hidden and we don't talk about it, it's scary. And I had one of those moments yesterday. What's that? Uh, you, an advantage of being a male is you can pee standing up, you know. And uh, sometimes you're wearing pants that don't have a zipper or something like that, and so you just have to grab the waistband and drop it down low enough, you know? Or pull the pants leg up high enough. It's true, it's depending upon what you're wearing. Right. Uh, so yesterday it was, it was a, a down direction that I had to go, and uh, I, I had that thing where I kind of didn't do the motion in full and uh, had ball separation. <laughs> <laughs> As Josh would say, you kept the boys apart. That's right. Like, it, it, separate's not always better. Right. You know? <laughs> so, uh, you know, you have to... And, and the thing is, you got to be careful because you reach a certain age, and it's usually about 12, when you're like, I'm experienced at peeing. I, I know the timing. I'll just start going as soon as everything's low enough. Well, that would have been a bad choice right then. Luckily, I knew better. I, I was prepared, but... Yeah, guys, ball separation. It's a real thing. It affects millions of men everywhere. Uh, <laughs> as as I as I have often heard Brian say, separate but not equal. That's right. One hundred percent. You know, that br gets brought up in other instances, but they got that from me. Right. <laughs> um. So you were. It was funny. You were talking. So. I I was an over the road driver. Yeah. And. I can honestly tell you, like, nothing is worse than having that instance to where, like, your body's just like, fuck you, man. Sitting on a major highway in traffic, having to I don't know how you pee. survived all that, by the way. What's that? I don't know how you survived all that, by the right? way. Right? <laughs> having to pee, and then only to, only to go to get out of your truck miss the step, slam your foot down on the ground, and that pressure of you slamming your foot down causes you to piss yourself. Now that's a true American. Wow, right I there. never would have thought of that, but it makes so much sense. Right there. Like, I was sitting on, I was sitting on 294 traffic, and it was stopped. And I'm like, I have to go so bad. This is not, I, I, this is not happening. Because, okay, so just a little aside, um, I drove a lot of hazmat, and you're not supposed to put your hazardous vehicle on the side of the road for too long. Okay. Especially if there's a cop over there. So I managed to get past this cop and I'm like, all right, well, I know where the oasis is. I can just go in there. And it just got to a point to where I was like, I can't, I can't, I, I just can't. There's no way. So I stopped the truck, put it in park, put my flashers on, 
calmly get out of the truck, go to step on the step to get down. My boot slips off the step and my fo foot slams on the ground, immediately piss my pants. <laughs> oh, I love it. I didn't. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, you're, you, you weren't the one that has to, you know, walk around with pissy pants. Right. <laughs> I, okay, let me ask. Is that the only time you peed your pants? I mean, other than being young, yes. Okay. I only did it one time, and I'll never forget it because I really do feel like I was a victim. Uh, we're going back to... God, it had to have been third grade. I peed my pants in third grade. You know, after the age, that kind of thing normally would happen. But, like I said, I feel victimized. So here's what... Whoops. The, yeah. <laughs> you went left instead of right. Well, I was wheeling, too. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so third grade, th uh, this class, like so many yeah. others, you know, if you had to go to the bathroom, we raise your hand. And they had, like, some thing you took with you that was, like, the hall pass, you know. And I remember this is, like, some woodblock thing. I don't know what was on it, if it was a carved thing or whatnot. Oh, it looks like you could go through there. Yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking. Um, so... I mean, it's fine. I'm still first. Yeah, right. So I go to raise my hand, and another dude raises his hand. And he was a little bit ahead of me, so I, I lowered mine down and figured uh, he's probably going to ask to go to the bathroom, which he did, and then I would just wait till he would come back. Thing is, I was already kind of waiting for a good moment, like a break in the lesson, and there just wasn't one. So I kind of had to go pretty good. And so it's like, whatever. He'll go to the bathroom, he'll come back, and then I can go, and everything will be fine. Because I'm doing, like, the shaky leg thing at my desk at the moment. And... Uh, he goes, the lessons continue, whatever we're learning at that point, I don't remember. And time passes, and I'm starting to squirm in my chair a little bit, and I look, and I'm like, where's the kid who went with the hall pass? Like, it's been a while now, and I'm thinking, at first, okay, maybe he had to poop. But he should have been back from that as well. And more time passes, and I'm having a real hard time not squirming a whole lot in my seat. And the teacher realizes that kid hasn't come back yet. She leaves the classroom, finds him. He's just screwing around in the hallway. And so that really ticks her off. And so she comes back, yells a bit, and then she's like, because of this, nobody can go on a bathroom break. I'm thinking, oh, no, <laughs> I specifically have got to go. So I'm like, whatever, I can wait till lunch or whatever, at the end of school, I don't know which part of the day this was at. And uh, I can make it, I can make it. And so I'm just, I'm squeezing every muscle, and I'm squirming, and I'm doing the shaky foot thing. And it's, it's just to the point where I don't know that I can hold it anymore. And so I raise my hand and ask if I can go to the bathroom. Well, oh boy, is she ticked off that I would ask that. So she yells, she's like, no, nobody can because your kids screw around and whatever. And which, which is funny because I think about this now and I don't think a teacher would do that anymore. I think they know better now. But uh, so she has us go into the hallway to do something. And just like you're saying with the gravity thing, like, now I'm standing. I was sitting, and that was, like, helping. And now that I'm standing, I don't have that assistance anymore. And we're lined up in the hallway, and I'm like, I don't care if she's mad. I gotta go to the bathroom, like, right now. And I go to ask her again, and she gets all mad again. She's like, if you're gonna ask me to go to the bathroom one more time, you're getting detention or whatever like that. And I'm just holding, I'm holding, and I just... I reached that point where the muscles were just out of energy. There was nothing you could do. And I pissed my pants right then and there as fifth graders or sixth graders are passing by. And of course, they're like, oh, kid pissed his pants. Ah. And I'm just like, I remember, I think my mom played into the teacher for that one when she heard about it. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, because it's just like, you can't do that. Like you, I totally get being mad at the kid who's just screwed around. No doubt about that. 
But you're also talking about a very human thing that people have got to do for their own health, you know? Right. Oh, wow, that's cool. That was a, yeah, <laughs> that was a nice little turn there. Uh, are there rules of the road among truckers that maybe us, us non-drivers don't know about? Um, rules of the road in terms of... Like, I don't know, like, are there, are there secret society rules, like... You know drivers got to do this because of other drivers, like, it's how you know you're part of the club. Well, I, I think a lot of them I've actually given to you and other people over the years, mm -hmm. like, coming on or off an exit ramp. Yeah. If you are coming on an exit ramp and you are a car, it is not my job for you to slow down, to slow down for you. Right. Um, but in general, it's more along the lines of, like, you know, just be be courteous well i'm thinking i was thinking less among the actual like road rules stuff but like are there things that that a driver knows when it comes to like because we're talking about all this bathroom stuff i started thinking about uh the the truck stops and things like that like always carry a bucket so the, oh a bucket not a bottle always carry a bucket and a plastic bag i mean an empty bottle yes definitely okay but that's a given right right always carry a bucket and a plastic bag it doesn't have to be a big bucket just always carry a bucket and a plastic bag you can do wheelies on this too <laughs> because you never know when you're gonna have to poop and you never know if you're gonna have to have the room to poop right right i can't tell you when i was over the road how many times i had to crap inside the truck because it was negative four outside <laughs> and i was not going outside you know this is actually not bad yeah i um i'm surprised the only complaint that i do have is i get it it's starting to feel a little the same sure yeah um, the tracks are different enough mm -hmm. that it's keeping it kind of interesting, but I know that in like two or three more races, it's going to be like, okay, I get it. I can only handle so much tool and air <laughs> as, uh, as anyone else. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cause that's what's going on in the headphones right now. You can't hear it, but right. there's tool happening. So, okay. As we wrap this up, we, we ran into the problems with Ansem Master, so we couldn't give that a grade. And then, uh... The Bud Suds and Duds after that was uh, Organ Trade Simulator, which I forgot to ask about it. So, scale of 0 to 5, what do you feel? I would give this... Are, are we doing non-half points or half points? It's up to you. If you want to do a half, you can do a half. I, I would go, honestly, a 3.5. Okay. I don't do halves personally. Uh, this is absolutely a 3. It makes 3 no problem in my mind. Uh, I think... It could be a four, but I'd have to play it myself to find out for sure. See, the, all, the only reason I'd give it a 3.5 over a four mm -hmm. is that I could start to feel that it gets a little one notey. But I mean, yeah. the, the tracks themselves are pretty cool. I'm curious, if you hit continue, did you get enough stars? I'm just curious what the next one is called. Yeah, so what are they? Oh, they don't give you a name? Greece Amateur League. Oh, okay. Mediterranean Starter. Okay, yeah, so we, we have a pretty good idea what that would be but like. But does that give you any more... Any more vehicles? Or upgrades? No. I don't know what gives you the upgrade. Yeah, so like if you mou or mouse over it or like put the icon over you it... You can't. Oh, you can't even... No, it doesn't it. let you do that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that is strange. So it doesn't look like it's a purchase thing you've done some stuff on this game so you would think a couple things would have been unlocked I wonder if it's possible, although it would be a weird choice, to be unlockable based on multiplayer hmm I don't know how common of a thing that is though gotta go with Tony the Tiger <laughs> but yeah I would I would definitely, I, I wish, well, one, you tell me how to unlock your stuff, yeah. please. Yeah. Um, two, I get it. Like, I, I get how I could see. I probably put, I put this at 3.5. Maybe a four for the multiplayer, because I could see how this could be wild yeah. playing this game multiplayer. Agreed. Like, if you get a full, like, eight people playing. I could see how this can get wild being multiplayer. Right, right. But I, I would say this one is not a dud. 
Yeah, no, definitely. Well, I mean, a dud only in that it didn't have a lot of reviews for some reason. This is definitely hidden gem territory that yeah. people who like racers, uh, this looks like one that's worth picking up. I'm glad I did now. Yeah, I mean, if it's a couple bucks on Steam, you might as well. And I, I should say that I think I only paid like 4 or $5 for it, so... And this, I could honestly see this being one of the, and, and I mean, I mean, I, it, it's not in a derogatory term, but I could see this being the kind of game you buy a nephew that is really into motocross and dirt bikes. Yeah, right. Because it's still pretty good. Well, guys, thanks for joining us on BSD again. And, you know, next month it'll be new stuff, new game. We'll see you next time.